check out some of the things that are here in Brighton slash home. Teamwork like, makes dream work. Like if we break off in teams, our team's winning. Awesome. So, <laughs> but you know, that's just the competitive nature in me. Anyway, we're gonna go walk to our bus stop. And then from there, we're gonna go and try to figure out some of the things here on this list. And uh, hopefully, how, how long do y'all think this is gonna take us? A uh, couple hours. Couple hours, yeah. so. It's around 10 miles total. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah. Woo! We're gonna do that and I'll kind of take y'all with us as we go. So, let's go. All right, so we decided to stop to get coffee, kind of get our bearings on what we're doing on the scavenger hunt because it's not in order of where it's at. So that's our goal and then we'll move on. All right, number one. So the clock tower was built for the Jubilee in 1888. This structure was designed by architect John Johnson. And that's all I know. So then we have the clock tower. Looking good, Claire. Thank you. Yeah. I have something really important to say. Yeah, what's up? I was told I was going on a beach vacation in Europe, so I packed only sundresses and skirts. I'm regretting everything. <laughs> it's 53 degrees today. <laughs> We're freezing, um, so we've kind of like huddled together here uh, to keep this little tunnel of warmth right here. Um, that's what we're doing. We're just gonna kind of huddle together and like stay warm. Cold on Day two and we still haven't learned. <laughs> <laughs> this famous actor who won the best actor Oscar in 1948 lived in Brighton. In fact, he was Lord Olivier of Brighton. We have to go meet Andy at Brunswick. Brunswick, yeah. So we're heading there. Um, we're hangry, at least me and V are. We're super hangry, but we're making it, and that's the whole point. We're making it. V, how are you hanging in there? So here we are at Carolina Brunswick. It is the self-proclaimed friendliest rock alternative pub in Brighton. It's named for the wife of the Prince Regent uh, George IV. It's also where our leader Andy Coughlin's parents met. And Claire is going to give us more on the wife. All right, Claire, tell us more. Okay, Carolyn of Brunswick had a really tragic marriage to George IV shortly after their first daughter was born. He heard some rumors that she had taken a lover, had an illegitimate child, so he separated himself from her as quickly as possible. She moved to Italy, he tried to divorce her through the law, a couple different avenues, but she was greatly loved by the people, so Parliament would not pass laws allowing him to divorce her. And she lived a sad, alone life, and then she died. Dang. Yeah.
study abroad trip. We are continuing our scavenger hunt. Here we are standing in front of the Brighton Zone, which is a concert hall and also hosts an art gallery and museum. Uh, along our stop, we figured out this, this has capacity of 1,700 and it also used to be a stable. Uh, Brightonian Thomas Henry Sargent has this statue to, uh, to commemorate his comedic career. His real name was actually Max, his stage name was Max Miller, while his nickname was actually the Cheeky Chappy. Love that. Right, well the lanes are like the original part of Brighton, as you can tell they're very narrow, very old and all these little cool funky shops are all around here, it's a big tourist place, in the middle of summer when it's really packed you can't even walk down here, but it's cool and it's just a little part of Brighton. Multiplex cinema, and when they first uh, uh, opened it, they had the Poseidon Adventure British, Poseidon Adventure British opening. All right, so we are back at our Airbnb, our little house that we have here. The scavenger hunt went really well, uh, just took forever. By the time we met up with Andy, Andy helped us get through the rest of it in like 45 minutes. So um, moral of the story is don't take a scavenger hunt, a 10 mile scavenger hunt at that without a local. That could be helpful. It took us, what did you say, Abby? It took like- Three and a half hours. It took about three and a half hours to get how many places? 13, 14. This morning? Oh, um, five. And it took about how many hours for the five? Three and a half. <laughs> yeah, it took about three and a half hours for the five places that we went to this morning. Um, yeah. Which means Andy took us to eight in 45. Yeah, that means Andy took us to eight in about 45 minutes. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, anyway. We're here, what time is it? It is 6.40 right now. Um, we're gonna go figure something out for dinner. We're thinking pizza. Pizza sounds really good. Um, but also at some point during the two and a half weeks that we are here, I will be hitting up the Taco Bell. Um, and if I can help it, more than once. That's just what I wanna do. Anyway, so we're gonna kind of figure out what we're gonna do for dinner. Uh, preferably uh, go sit on the beach for a little bit. It's also freezing. The wind is blowing extremely hard. But we need to relax. Um, yeah, so also, fun fact here, uh, they have Dr. Pepper. I was a little worried that they wouldn't have Dr. Pepper. Now I was told that Dr. Pepper here is tasted different. I think it's pretty much the same. It almost tastes more like a real sugar Dr. Pepper versus just like Dr. Pepper you get in the States where it's uh, corn syrup. Uh, but yeah, it's good. It's sweet. I like it. It'll do. I think that's all for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and sign it out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. More videos of England are coming up pretty soon. I promise you. But... Remember, adventure is out there, so go find your own. All right, peace out.